after that extra long episode of Helena Flowers. Yeah, it was a special, like, no, no, it was a thank you episode. That's what it was. Uh, (laughs) For hitting double digits. Yeah. We have, like, 14 subscribers, and we're like, ah! (laughs) Whatever, it's a good moment. I never thought somebody would, like, listen and enjoy the complaining. (laughs) You know? And it's, like, enough to be, like... Maybe it's more like watching monkeys at a zoo. What? I don't know if they're enjoying it. Maybe it's more like watching monkeys at a zoo. It's like I'd come I'd like, I'd come to this zoo again. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Day So we're on day six. Yeah. I thought the days were gonna be longer. So I was like, mm, I don't know how many episodes it's gonna be. But it sounds like it's gonna be quick. Um yeah. Should I visit the flower field or the crash site? Crash site? Because it was like okay. weird and boring in the flower field. I had made a fool of myself, but I did not care anymore. What sort of pride did I have left anyway? Plus, she had mentioned that everything that happened here would not be spoken to anyone else. Yeah! Get kinky! <laughs> uh, right? There was an awkward silence between the two of us. I finished searching through that that flower patch you were looking through the other day. Oh. Thank you. It was nothing. She continued looking through the rock pile by my feet. By her feet. <laughs> uh, are you are you really not going to ask me about why I don't want to go back? The woman stood up and gave me her full attention. That would be rude, wouldn't it? Aren't you past that point, though? Right? But she just wants you to ask. Like, look at this. Yeah, like, please just be my friend. Love me. Uh, but, I mean, everyone, everyone would. This is the same. Like, this is the same middle school, like, BS we've been seeing. You know, it's like, well, you know, I mean, you can ask, I guess, if you want. You know, it's going to be a bother, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, see? Look, ask. I mean, they... They would have put their noses where they don't belong. This girl... I've lived in Ikea long enough to be aware of how the public treats Menelaus's wife. Menelaus, what do you think she'll do when I arrive back there? Will she even hate me? Or have me? Okay. (laughs) She was the one who sent us on this mission. It would make sense to assume that she'll have you back. No. No, you don't understand. She will receive me back, but will she... Will she have me back into her household? I'm not foolish enough to think that she will show me affection again. But just... Acceptance. Uh... Well... I am simply a soldier. And I'm not privileged to know the inner workings of Empress Menelaus's private life. Cilia. Yes? I stood up from where I was working, dead flowers in my hands. Do you know what they're going to do when I'm returned? I have no idea how they'll act, react. Ikea, I mean. I'm afraid that neither do I, mistress. We're getting closer to her. Should I visit? Spam crash site. Yeah, just like spam crash site. That's it. We're going to keep doing that. Uh, The crash site proved to be a bigger... Be bigger than I anticipated. There was no sign of the missing piece. At half day, the cloth around my ankles was covered in dirt. I grimaced. Ah, well, if you say that you won't mention this to anyone else, I suppose I can bear the indignity of having a dirty claw. The woman was just staring off into the distance. Celia? Mm -hmm. The flowers around her were clearly unsearched, though. Perhaps the image of the crash site is making you ill as well. No, I... I walked closer to her. She didn't seem ill, just distracted. I will return to my searching. 
but her movements were sluggish. Oh, it's the flowers! Almost as she as if she wasn't sure what she was looking for. My, I, am I getting hungry? Soldiers, let us break for lunch. We both sat down, pulling a small portion of hard rations. She was still distracted. You seem distant today. Uh, forgive me. I did not mean to bother you, mistress. So, there's something wrong then. I glanced down at the rations in my hand. My portion seemed larger than hers. Pinching off a small bit, I handed it back to her. This is... This is a lie. Why would you do that? Here, perhaps you're not eating enough. I've noticed that you give me more food than yourself. That is because I'm accustomed to eating less than you, mistress. I glared at her. Ah, uh, that. That was not <laughs> what I meant to imply. <laughs> well, then if one of us is working less today, then I must simply pick up the slack. I quickly ate my meal and went back to where I had been searching. Finally, she got up and began to slowly pick through flowers again. Her speed had dropped even more than before. Soldier! She looked up at me. Why are you moving so slowly? Our work here is important, isn't it? Don't you want to go home to Ikea? She looked down, saying nothing. Hmm? I returned to my work with no answer. Day 8. Should I visit the flower field or the crash site? Uh, crash? Okay. Yeah. It had bothered me to think that Celia hadn't answered my question, and yet her speed had stayed at the same slow pace. I needed to do something. Should I press her for more information? Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. We don't need tact. Dur during we don't have tact. <laughs> yeah, that's the better thing to say. Uh, during midday break that day, I decided to press her further. Celia, she jumped in surprise. Yes, mistress? Why have your actions been slower recently? I... It would be wise to tell me the truth. There being only us two on this planet. I'll not utter a word of any... Of this to anyone else, she let us a small laugh. Ugh. Very well, mistress. I have been working slower because I am ashamed to admit it. But I am not as sure that I want to return to Akia. Oh, but is it not your home? I'm a mer mercenary. Mercenary! <laughs> Akia is not my home, though it be where I reside at the moment. Hmm, I see. I look down at the flowers around us. And it does not sit well with me to learn that my rescue mission is in reality more akin to kidnapping. It is clear that you do not want to go back. Oh. No, I... Please don't think that. I... I need to go back. I've said things I shouldn't have. That is just my worrying. It's... Men Menelaus has missed me. I need to go back to her. There is only us two on this planet. Lies will only hurt us both. It is... not a lie. I couldn't look her in the eyes. Very well, Mistress Helena. She stood up and left, returning to her work. I sat for a while, trying to regain my composure. Uh, you can pick. Okay, let's go to the flower field just this one time. Okay. And, like, just keep spamming crash site. Yeah. I returned. It was silent. Sitting down, I gazed upon a particularly lovely flower blooming a stone star away. How beautiful you are, on the outside. But I wonder if you're truly rotting underneath that image. Just like, I stopped and shook my head. Why was I talking to myself? I got up and began to pace around. This is no good. Who am I even speaking to? 
Naturally, no one answered. I looked up at the stars above me. They seemed so far away. I'm not used to being so alone. Is it true that no one is watching me right now? I looked down and saw the flowers. I suddenly felt watched. Ooh, creepy. Yeah. I woke up that morning to find that my hair and paint had come un completely undone. Whoa. <laughs> She's getting crazy. Or er, strange. Uh, I I can't believe this. How am I supposed to return to Ikea now? Am I like, is this just me? Or are there like bags underneath her eyes now? Yeah. Like, maybe. I feel like the flowers are making them go insane. I don't know, man. Or something like that. Like, something is wrong with these flowers. They keep mentioning this. This is not... Yeah, I, I think there is something wrong with something on yeah. this planet. Are we even going to get off this planet? Are we going to die here? I had to get a hold of myself. I needed to keep going, no matter what I looked like. I took a deep breath and decided on what I was going to do that day. Uh, crash. Yeah. I'm more interested in, like, the flower field now, just to see what's going yeah. on. Celia had continued to work hard. Their speed was not what it had been. See, we have to, like, check it out. We have to make sure that our, uh, our girl yeah, is, weird, like... Yeah, because now both of their speed has been dropped. Yeah. My own it's speed... Like, it's, like, it's just weird. Yeah. Like... It's probably the flowers. It's like some weird poison that she has to like get rid of or something. Yeah, I think so. My own speed, on the other hand, had dropped even more. Looked out over the crash site. Had it always been this large? This desolate? What was this planet even used for? I am surprised that you do not know, Mistress Helena. I glared at her. Well, excuse me for not knowing. Well, I only have much more menacing. Ooh. Yeah. I only have hundreds of other things occupying my mind at the moment. Uh, that was rude of me. Yeah, we're gonna get like the gore end. Yeah. This planet. Look there. It appears to be remnants of an old temple. Oh. Plus the myriad of overgrown Helenico's flowers. It appears this used to be a lover's planet. Ah. A lover's planet. I'd visited such a planet with Alexandros, the isolated small place that had served as a perfect rendezvous point. No one had interrupt us, interrupted us. It had been a lovely evening. I see. You appear to have had a smile for a second there, mistress. I take it you have vis visited such a planet before? What a crass question. I turned from her to look more closely at the remnants of the temple. Yes, it did appear to have been a lover's planet. Of course, the great Helena of Ikea had visited such a planet before. I see. Perhaps if I had never visited one, this whole war would have never happened. I turned to look at her. The smile from her face from a moment ago was now gone. I know what the soldiers say of me, back there. That if I had kept my hands to myself, no one would have had to die. There was no response. How long have you known me, Pancilia? Excuse me? How long have you known of me? Everyone knows who you are. Even before I came to Ikea, I had heard of the great Helena of Ikea, the most beautiful woman in the galaxy. She coming on to us or no? Not yet. <laughs> 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 yes, but how long have you known me? She paused, unable to answer. I'm afraid I don't understand your question. Never mind. I do not feel good. I'm going back to the pond. Rest well, mistress. I want to explore the flowers. Yeah, me too. It's getting suspicious. Uh, still nothing. I looked unpresentable. I couldn't continue on like this. There was no sign of the ship piece. Our food rations were quickly diminishing. There was no hope. We were going to die. We get it. No, Helena, you cannot think like that. We're, we're going to leave this planet. 
What do I want to do today? Flowers. I returned to the flowers. I was almost becoming adjusted to their company. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> they didn't answer, but I stood there pretending they had. This is quite nice. I'm this having a really nice day. Creepy. Yeah. People talk to like plants and stuff though. But this is like. Okay. But not like this. Yeah. Like, this is. It's like, how are you, my darlings? I was missing for, hu for human company. I was ready to talk to flowers. I'm not used to this. Being so alone. There is a soldier, yes, but you must understand that I do not have much experience with conversing with soldiers. Typically, I'm used to parties and balls and people like Alexandros. My heart felt weak. Flowers. Have there not been any other people on this planet? Have there been anyone? Has there ever been anyone that has gifted you to another as a show of passion and love? I sat down to speak to them closer. That love is yours. It will not last. You know the symbol of the world of humans, correct? A short, fiery love that cannot just quickly disappear. Because she got closer to whisper to them. She had just left me in Wilusa as the Archaeans were drawing closer to the planet. Why hadn't she taken me with her? Did she really think that little of me? I looked up at the flowers. They were still watching. I hope you never realize that meaning of yours, Helenikos. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. My dress is destroyed. My hair is disrupted. Melanaeus would kill me. She would kill me if, we sh if she saw me. No one can see me like this. I want to be Helena. I want to be the most beautiful woman in this galaxy that everyone thinks as I am. So... No one can see me like this. Not Melanaeus. Not Alexandros. Not Melanaeus. 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 Not Alexandra. Uh, not Archaea. Especially not that soldier. She would tell others I was a sham. I was ugly. I saw it in her eyes. She couldn't believe that this was who I was. She was going to tell the others I need to stop her. I had snuck up on her during the night with one of the Christite rocks in my hand. Ooh, she had awoken and struggled against my grip, but her strength, had it. she always been so thin, weak? Oh my god. <laughs> Either way, her bones had easily crushed underneath the force oh of the rock. God. Whoa! Uh, I had gotten some of her blood on my dress, but I did not That's care. Amazing. There was no one to tell on me. I was wearing such an unpresentable dress with the soldier dead. No one could tell my secrets. But her pockets had been empty while mine had still been filled with the rations she'd given me. She had purposely given me more food. Pencilia. All of this, all of this happened because I was Helena. The war. Alexandros. Melan Menelaus. All of those people died. Even Pencilia. All because of this beauty. This beauty of mine! I don't want to be beautiful anymore! Oh, bad end! Wow, what a surprise! <laughs> I thought we were doing pretty okay, considering. Um, no, because I, we could tell that the music got way more... I thought we were getting to the meat of the story. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, don't know. I was trying to be optimistic. <laughs> Do you want to try to get, like, a good end? Um, yeah, okay, so... So we're gonna have to pick, like, one or the other. I think we should do just crash site, and then, like... Just... Okay, so constantly crash site. Alright, so do you want to do it in another, or just, like, stick with this one? Yeah, well, stick with this one, make it two. Yeah, okay, whatever. Super long episode! <laughs> <laughs> or actually, maybe spacing them out might be better, just because... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we should just, yeah. Yeah. That was a cool ending. Yeah, it was. I, I mean. Really, I really, I honestly always prefer the bad end, so I liked it a lot. Yeah, me too, but then it's like, our viewers need to see the other good endings. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, 